was mir Spaß macht, ist das Experiment. What I really enjoy are experiments that I can understand and control from start to finish and then improve. What's remained from my days as an electrician is the feel for something. I mean that you have an intuition about how you can do something. We were always making things in my family when I was a child. When you construct something, then I'll know straight away whether it'll work or not. I come from a field where we first studied classic effects, and if you make the object smaller and smaller, you enter the realm of quantum physics, and we were interested to see what we could do with quantum physics. The city of Grenoble in southeastern France. This is where Wolfgang Wernsdorfer has been working for more than 20 years at the Institute Niel, specializing in experimental solid state physics at the interface with chemistry and material science. Professor Wernsdorfer is one of the world's leading experts on nanomagnets and their use in molecular quantum spintronics. At very low temperatures, he studies the magnetic properties of crystals and individual molecules, which derive from their spin behavior. In the world of molecules, effects occur that are not possible in classic physics. Just like the reversed polarity of a compass needle, the magnetization of a molecule can also flip but it doesn't need energy to do so, which is a result of the wave character of the electrons. In waves, they can overcome the potential barrier. Investigating an iron-8 molecule, Wernstorfer discovered that a positive superposition of waves flips the magnetization. And then I measured this wonderful molecule here one summer. And then I found this phase interference. I was so thrilled about this phenomenon that I couldn't sleep for three days. I just kept on measuring, looking at it in more detail. And then I started talking to the chemists who had made the molecule and tried to convince them that this phenomenon was a very interesting research outcome for physicists. Wolfgang Wernstorfer has also discovered how to control interference using a transverse field. It thus becomes possible to measure magnetism in molecules with a new detector, which is coupled with the crystal molecules by nanometer scale electrical circuits. The detector we built in Grenoble was the micro-squid, which measures the magnetic flux from nanostructures. When the magnetic flux changes, the detector can measure it, which means we can deduce how the magnetization has rotated. In order to make a sample, a tiny transistor first has to be built. This is done in a clean room by photolithographic writing of the tiniest conductor tracks. Wernstorfer has refined the measuring device at the heart of the circuit so that now even one single molecule can be measured. The big challenge is to find the ideal position of the molecule in the nano-squid. Wernstorfer likes to do some of the practical work himself, whether bonding the sample to the sample holder or subsequently coupling the sample with the coil of the cryostat. Like almost everything else in his lab, he built this himself. In the last few years, the researchers have studied thousands of molecules, but only very few capture their imagination. There's one molecule we've totally fallen in love with. It's a simple molecule with two magnetic moments, two spins, which we read out and play around with in a quantum mechanical sense. A simple molecule with a cumbersome name, terbium phthalocyanine. The physicists subject the nanomagnet to microwaves in order to discover how it interacts with its environment. The aim is to guide its quantum system from one spin state to the next in a controlled manner, and to discover how the information can be quickly written and read out again. Speed and endurance are not only features of Wernstorfer's research in the lab, the physicist is also a long-distance mountain runner. 
man läuft los. You start running and you feel much better. Your body works very hard and that stimulates the mind. And then you think about all sorts of things and that's really super. You feel as though you're in a different world and that you can run in the mountains for hours. Wallstoffer also competes in the Ultra Tour of Grenoble, an extreme trail run covering 160 kilometers and 11,000 vertical meters that takes around 40 hours. In the lab, experiments with superconducting molecules that have no electrical resistance are continuing. Wernstoffer wants to combine such quantum systems with his nanomagnets, path-breaking experiments for his new base at KIT in Karlsruhe, where he will take up a Humboldt professorship in 2016. The idea is to continue with this work in Karlsruhe, to expand it into much more complicated spin systems with larger molecules with more moments. We also want to use more complicated algorithms, and then we want to introduce other methods, such as quantum optics, for which Karlsruhe is very famous. Perhaps this is where one day a researcher's dream will come true, such as the quantum computer. In his nanomagnets, Wernstoffer can control two spin states. That is the basic building block for the quantum computer, the qubit. My vision for the future is to test how we can really use these quantum systems, how far we can go. The chemists have made great progress. They can interlace up to 84 qubits. The problem is that this quantum processor is so small that no one on Earth can do the readout. So for now, we're working on reading out more and more spins. Whether that can result in a computer is something nobody knows at present.